The haunting new images from the bottom of the ocean tonight. The fuselage of that doomed Air Asia flight has now been found, and it's believed that some of the passengers' bodies are still inside. Tonight, there are major new questions about the distance between two major discoveries on the ocean floor. Here's ABC's David Curley. This, our first look tonight at the midsection of the Air Asia A320, where many of the 162 on board may be found. Visible, the section of the fuselage from just in front of the wings, as well as part of a wing. This is where the tail section was found, but the black boxes from that tail found more than a mile to the northwest, and a half mile farther away, the center section with a wing still attached. The mystery is actually deeper from what we found today because we now have major pieces of this airplane that are separated by almost two miles. Many of those questions will probably be answered by the recovered black boxes, but in a move that one safety expert calls shocking, the Indonesians, who have just a rudimentary lab, are trying to process the computer chips from those boxes. They say it could take two weeks, a job that would take just a matter of days in the U.S. Indonesians do not have the capability to do sophisticated mishap investigation. But there is some concern that if the Indonesians try to do this all on their own, that something might get lost in the details. Oh, David, you can really hear the frustration there from aviation experts about this delay. But a big question now, that huge distance between the fuselage behind you there and the tail found so far away? One explanation, David, is when they pulled the tail up, the bottom was gone, made it lighter. There's a possibility it could have floated for a while, and the currents are very strong there, so it could have carried the tail quite a distance away from the black boxes in that midsection. All right, David Curley on this investigation from the start. David, thanks.